Well, today we're going to learn about a lever. So, a lever works. Um, that's an example of a lever is a seesaw. Okay, so today we have a pencil, a ruler, and some heavy weighted coins. Okay, now let's see. This is going to be the fulcrum, and this is going to be the lever, which is tagged on. Other ruler. If I put, okay, now let's put it down. Let's put some heavy weight to make it stand. Stay. Okay. Now let's see how many. Let's see how many coins it takes to lift the weight that we're gonna take up. One. It took only one coin. Now let's move the fulcrum away from the one from the weight. Okay, in the middle. Now let's see. One coin. Two coins. Three coins. It took three coins when it got more moved away. Now let's see if we move it very far away, how much coins it will take. Well, we have three. Four. So then get up. Five. Six. Six coins to get up. Even though it's in balance. So it means that when the fulcrum is more close to the weight that you're going to lift up, it gets much easier. But when it's more far away, you have to keep on putting more force to make the object move more, move heavier. So, that's it. Now, wait, one more thing. I'm going to show you lots of simple machines. As you see here, there are lots of simple machines. The I circled all of them. And these are some pulleys, see, I told, as I told you. So, this is a wheel and axle because it rotates. And it's also a lever. This, you might think this is interesting. It's also a wedge, kind of. When you put um, this rectangle wedge, and you put it into the brick so you can cut it. You put and so you put the hammer. You chop it on the wedge, this, and then it breaks down into all the pieces by going down and breaking all of them. So these are all the simple machines.